The Corvair and Corvette for 1963 will certainly attract attention with their sporty looks, snappy performance, and nimble handling. The Corvair comes in three series. The 500, 700, and Monza 900. No station wagons are offered in 1963. The Greenbrier sports wagon, however, is available in deluxe and custom models. The Corvair 500, 700, and Monza models, like this Monza Coupe, have a finish of magic mirror acrylic lacquer in any one of 15 solid colors. 11 two-tones are offered on all Corvairs except Monzas. 15 solid and 15 two-tone combinations of enamel are available on Greenbriars. At the front, amber parking and directional signal lights are easier to see by oncoming traffic for greater safety. A bright metal molding with an insert area painted black extends across the front panel. The lowness of the Corvairs is evidenced through a profile view. Stylish rocker sill moldings and wheel discs, standard equipment, give the Monsas a look of glamour. At the rear, the trim and sporty Corvairs have new taillight treatment, and Monsas have backup lights, bright metal license plate cavity frame, and dual simulated exhaust ports at no extra cost. Inside all Corvairs, the new trim is color keyed to exterior colors. Every Corvair has vinyl sidewall insert panels, front armrests, a foam cushion front seat, and front seat belt anchors. Vinyl bucket front seats with bright metal end panels and all vinyl interiors give the Monzas extra luxury. And the beautiful Monza interiors come in seven colors, fawn, aqua, red, blue, black, saddle, or white. The instrument panel is handy and fashionable. A stylish steering wheel, colorful glove box emblem, glove box light and carpeting are Monza plus values. All Corvairs have a cigarette lighter and dual sunshades. And here is the Monza four-door sedan, as fitting for the sportsman as for the family man. A fold-down rear seat is standard equipment in both the Monza sedan and the coupe. For just plain fun, there's the dashing Monza convertible. Both the convertible and coupe are available with the spider option, highlighted by the turbocharged engine. Spiders have special nameplates on the front fenders, engine compartment lids, steering wheel, and glove box door. The eye-catching convertible interior has rear ashtrays and armrests and dual courtesy lights as standard equipment. When equipped as a spider, the convertible or coupe has a tachometer, manifold pressure gauge, and cylinder head temperature gauge. The Monza convertible is available with a counterbalance top or with an optional power top of white, black, or beige. A built-in tension cable at each side rail keeps the top snug and reduces fabric flutter and drafts. Here's a good-looking twosome, the Corvair 700 two-door coupe and four-door sedan. Both have bright metal molding across the front, on the front fenders and front doors and at the rocker sill. Interiors of 700 models feature vinyl headlining, cloth and vinyl covered seats, and vinyl coated rubber floor mats. Four colors, fawn, aqua, red, and blue are offered. Then for solid value, Corvair offers the 500 two-door coupe. It's the lowest priced model in the line and packs every major feature of all other Corvairs, including the four-wheel independent coil suspension, virtually flat floor, integrated body and frame, lockable front luggage compartment, parallel action electric wipers, and new double-lip door locks. The all-vinyl interior of the Corvair 500 two-door coupe comes in three colors, red, fawn, or aqua. Black rubber floor mats complete the interior trim. Next, there's the Greenbrier Sports Wagon. Inside, the custom models come in a choice of red, fawn, light green, or turquoise. The interior of the deluxe Greenbrier is styled in fawn color. The Greenbrier and all Corvair 500, 700, and Monza models are sporty and snappy. Under the engine compartment lid, there's the air-cooled aluminum Turbo Air 145 engine with hydraulic valve lifters, oil filter, and automatic chokes. Horsepower ratings are 80, 84, and 102. The 150 horsepower turbocharged 145 engine is standard on Spider models. Three transmissions are offered, three-speed synchromesh, four-speed synchromesh, and Corvair Powerglide. Now for the supreme in sports cars. The completely new Corvette Stingray with outstanding advancements in styling, body and frame construction, suspension and power teams. In 63, the Corvette comes in two thrilling Stingray models. 
This Corvette Stingray Sport Coupe has a wrap-over rear window and doors that wrap into the roof for new highs in styling. Here's the Corvette Stingray Convertible. It's available with a folding soft top or a removable hard top. The folding top is offered in black, white, or beige. Both Stingray models have wheel discs, rocker sill molding, and compound curved door glass as standard equipment. The long, low hood flows smoothly down to cover panels that conceal retractable dual headlights. Sporty twin simulated grills flank the hood wind split. Crossed flags and a deep V form the handsome front emblem. Headlights are rotated to the exposed position by electric motors. Manual provisions for rotating the headlights are also built into the Corvette. Amber parking and directional signal lights are standard equipment. For a stylish note, a center wind split highlights the roof of the sport coupe. Seven beautiful solid colors are offered for both models. The rear smoothness of the Corvette is not broken by the conventional deck lid. Luggage is stored from within the passenger compartment. The spare tire is stowed below the body at the rear in a special housing. Inside, the Corvette features all vinyl treatment in a choice of four colors, dark blue, black, red, or saddle. Bucket seats, armrests, carpeting, dual red safety reflectors at the inside of each door, crank-operated ventipanes, tachometer, electric clock, cigarette lighter, and dual sunshades are standard equipment. Genuine leather seat trim in saddle color is offered as an option. A single hooded cluster of instruments is at the driver's fingertips. On the passenger side, a similar hooded area houses a lockable lighted glove box. Behind the attractive Corvette Stingray styling stands high-quality construction. First, there's the all-new Corvette body. A structural network of steel is combined with fiberglass reinforced plastic body panels for increased rigidity. Interlocks of the pillars and door latches feature an advanced double-lip design for better locking of doors. And Corvette's newness extends into the extra-rigid all-welded steel perimeter frame with five cross members. The frame is closely integrated to the body through 12 body mounts. Strength, agility, and durability are built into the Corvette chassis. These are some of the superb features. Spherical joint independent front suspension, ball race steering, independent rear suspension with three links and transverse leaf spring, and extra large brakes with bonded linings. Under the hood, there's plenty of power. Offered are three carburetor V8s and a fuel injection V8, all with an oil filter and Delcatron generator. Horsepower ratings are 250, 300, 340, and 360. With the fuel injection V8, a warning buzzer sounds within the Corvette when excessive RPMs are reached. Three transmissions are available on Corvettes. Three-speed synchromesh, four-speed synchromesh, and Corvette Power Glide. So the 1963 Corvette is built for a lot of doing and going. What's more, the Corvair and the Corvette have many pluses, such things as self-adjusting brakes and an aluminized muffler, along with extended periods between lubrications and oil changes. For one of the two thrilling sports in 1963, there's the Corvair. The car with superb handling, traction, braking, and steering. And for the ultimate in sports car driving, there's the Corvette Stingray, the newest in America's sports cars. Uh -huh.